All right, here they are. I've been slacking lately and I got no excuses, but there are the peppers. So we've got our two Carolina Reapers right here and our two ghost peppers. You can see I've still got them in the one gallon pots. Haven't changed that at all and they really haven't done any growing. They've just kind of sat in limbo for all of this time. I think it's been probably a couple months since I posted that last video, at least a month and a half. But look at what's been going on in here. I even did some pollination by hand but all I got to take were three peppers on this ghost pepper plant here. This one didn't take, neither of those two took. I, I get these little glimpses of maybe something happening, but nothing quite yet. But here's where they started. They started out green. We had three beautiful green ghost peppers. And just a couple days ago, this one right here just started turning bright red. It actually did what this little guy did started turning orange like that and within a day it just turned this deep bright red and that sucker just looks fantastic right there so we got to do something with these guys right here it is deep into spring we're headed towards summer and i want to get more outside and kind of wrap up on the indoor growing with this grow light here for the summer once again that's the vipar spectra xs2000 did a fantastic job on these guys if I would have potted it up to bigger pots, they probably would have just grown even more massive in here, but I didn't do that. But we're going to take them outside right now. We're going to pot them into even bigger pots. Isn't that so cool? I absolutely love that pepper. Just beautiful, man. All right, so we're going to get these guys potted up right now. I decided on potting them into two five-gallon containers, and I definitely am going to keep this plant right here because these were all grown from seed, and there's going to be genetic diversity. They're all, you know, these are ghost peppers and those are reaper peppers. But within that genetic diversity, you're going to get some that fruit better than others, some that, you know, might grow more vegetative growth better than others. But I definitely want to keep that one because I know what it's capable of. So we're going to set this one aside right here. And I'm going to grab one of these reapers over here. Take a look at them. Neither of them fruited yet. I like this one right here. And we can always try air layering or taking cuttings from it down the road. So I'm going to keep this guy here. I'll probably give these two away to a family member or something. I'm just going to keep one of each for right now. We'll put them in these five gallon pots and make this happen. Look at those roots, man. I just love that. I never get tired of seeing that. Growing them indoors like that just made these things grow like crazy. They definitely need to get up potted to bigger pots, but they're going to get that now. So let's get them right down there. You want to get a shot of that, Allie? Look at those peppers, man. They're just absolutely beautiful. We're going to see what these guys can do in this five gallon pot now. And we're headed into summer. So we're going to have all kinds of warm weather coming our way. It's a little cool today, that's why I got the jacket on. The weather's kind of taken a little change here the last few days, but uh, it'll warm back up. Now, as usual, when I'm planting these guys, like any plant, I'm just planting the top of the root ball um, right at the level of the soil there. We don't want to bury these guys in the soil. I'm not packing it too much, just kind of tamping it in a little bit. All right, get our tag out there a little better. There it is, Mark, we made it happen. There's your favorite pepper, buddy. And I know you want me to stick that in my mouth and eat it right now, but uh, I'm still praying about that one. All right, let's take care of this reaper pepper now. It's so neat seeing the difference in these different plants here. Whoa, that guy's got even more roots than the last one. Look at all that, beautiful. But it's so neat to see the difference in these different pepper plants. Look at the stalks right here. The other one wasn't quite as just deep green with the lime green striping throughout that. I just think it looks so cool. All right, let's get this guy in his new home. Set him down in there nicely. I keep seeing this branch just kind of hanging off to the side here. This big old sucker and I almost snipped it off, but I thought, you know, maybe we should try air layering that guy or taking a cutting or doing something fun like that with it. See if we can get it to go. 
But we got, like I said, plenty of summer to head into and get all kinds of fun stuff going here. All right, we got it all potted up and this guy's set to go. All right, what do you think, Allie? Is that a good spot for him? Yeah, it's perfect. Good, I think that's gonna be a good spot. We got some sun coming down in on the evening right here. They're in a beautiful hoop house and you know they're protected from any frost god forbid we get any frost coming in this late in the season but uh it's been kind of cold lately hopefully things start warming up we're heading into summer i can't wait to see what those roots do in here and watch these guys just take off i don't know what i'm gonna do with those peppers yet i think i'm just gonna leave them on there for right now and watch the rest of them turn we'll see what happens when time goes by so there they are guys two beautiful pepper plants what do you think al you gonna eat that red pepper mm -mm. Come on, don't you want to? No, Good? too no. hot. <laughs> See, Mark, she said it's too hot. Isn't it beautiful, though? Let me get, I'm going to cover up that sun. There we go. Look at that. I love that red pepper. So beautiful. I didn't know, this is our first time growing these ghost peppers. I didn't know that they were going to turn red. Did you? Mm -mm. You're the one that told me about it. I thought they would stay green. You said, Dad, come in here. Look, this thing's starting to turn colors. We got them now in two five-gallon pots, so we'll give them a little time, let the weather warm up, and see what we can get out of these guys. I don't know. What are we going to do about this big old tall branch right here? Should we, we could get another cutting from it. You think so? Mm -hmm. Should we air layer it maybe? I keep looking at it thinking we could air layer right there along the branch maybe. Just put one of those root pods right there. Or what about one of those new ones that we just got in the mail? <laughs> yeah. I know, your dad's nuts. Your mom thinks so, too. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll come back, and we'll do something more with these. I'll show you an update as the summer goes on and how these guys are developing. They're just so beautiful right now. That tent and that grow light did a fantastic job getting them going through the winter. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.